Okay, super short video today. So for my previous video, I made this effect, a dotted line on a picture that shows a trail that we walked. You can also do it on a map, for example, you know, to show a travel route. I actually don't know how to call that effect exactly. It's basically just an animated line. But anyway, that doesn't matter. The thing is, some of you have asked me how I did it. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. And it's super simple, you'll see. Okay, so select the image of the map in the timeline and then go to the Fusion page. And with the media in node selected here, click on this icon to add a paint node. Select the polyline stroke and draw a line, the travel route or the trail. Just click and drag to make curves. And you can use these anchor handles to fine tune everything. And here in the brush controls, you can change the color of the stroke, the stroke size and the softness. And down here, you can change the spacing to two, for example, to create a dotted line. And once you're done, make sure the playhead is at frame zero here. So all the way at the start of the clip. Then hit this diamond here to create a keyframe for the write on effect and set the end value all the way to zero. Then put the playhead at the end of the clip, so the last frame, create another keyframe and set the end value back to one. Now you have this travel route animation. If you want animation to be finished sooner, then just create that last keyframe sooner. But you can also add an image or a logo, for example, like this, see? So the image or the logo leads the line. What you have to do is just copy the paint node Connect it, go to modifiers here, and let's change the color so you can see what's happening. Then set the playhead at the beginning of the clip, and we're gonna change the value of the ride on effect keyframes. See, it's still a keyframe here because we just copied this node. And I'm gonna set the end value to 0 0.001. And don't forget to set the spacing here back to zero. Then set the playhead at the end of the clip and set the start value to 0 0.999. See what's happening now? So now we have a different colored dot that's leading the line. And you could leave it like this, of course, or you can go to brush controls, image, and here you can select one of the preset icons or select clip here, then hit browse and select an image. There we go. It looks weird now, but that's just because you have to do one more thing. Hit this icon right here to set the apply mode to merge. And boom, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Salut.